Okay everybody, today I am in southwestern Oklahoma. Um, I'm in a place I've never been to before and I'm going to be targeting several species that I've never seen. Um, we've just gotten to the site and we got a prairie lizard already to start off the hike. But we're going to be poking around this absolutely gorgeous habitat right here. Um, some of the targets I'll be looking for today are western diamondbacks and collar lizards, which have both been reported here. So we're just going to shine around these rocky areas and see what we can find. And yet another prairie lizard. My shadow's in the way, just to the left of my shadow on the edge of this rock. And it's disappeared. So this right over here is my life for call lizard. And it is colorful. This is so cool. It's literally just sitting there and allowing us to take some pictures and video of it. Here is some of the surrounding habitat that it's in. That is so cool. Okay everyone, so right here is one of the prettiest lizards I have ever seen, and that is a collar lizard, and it's been hopping around these rocks right over here, and we've been following it, and it's just been keeping an eye on us, but here is the surrounding habitat, it's just breathtakingly gorgeous. And I am absolutely shocked that we got this lizard. So we got Dean is going in trying to get some shots of the cod lizard, which Yep, still on the rock. So, Dean now battling the lighting. The collar lizard is right there. And trying to remain inconspicuous to get that good photo. Tempting fate right now. So this right here is the shed of one of the snakes that we are targeting, a western diamondback rattlesnake. I'd say that this is between three to four feet long, and so it's possible the snake at some point was using this rock structure over here and could still potentially be around. So we're just going to search this general area and see if we can find the owner 
of the shed. So of all the things to find here, this has to be without a doubt the most bizarre. Uh, Dean just came across what appears to be the shell, I'm assuming, based on the fact that we're near some water right over here, of potentially a snapping turtle. But, and the plastron does indicate that it is a snapping turtle because it's got that smaller one. So a dead snapping turtle, the inside of which looks perfectly just clean and white between these two cracks right here. That is one of the weirdest things that I've seen. You can even see the tail goes down here. So this is definitely a snapping turtle just wedged in between these boulders. It either crawled up in here or died or someone put it here deliberately. cruised a tarantula. Look at this thing just moving off on along the road right now. That is crazy. Ha <laughs> ha.